I will try to explain to you how we get water. So this small house, <laughs> let it be a small house, inside it there is the main well. I will show it to you. So I can't open it. And from this place the pipes, the water pipes go in all the directions. So that is the main street and underground here about two meters deep. So the pipes are laid. So that is how the house looks from this side. So I don't know what is inside the greenhouse, maybe some storage. It belongs to our management, to the management of this Dutch community, maintenance company. So some people here. Today is Saturday, that is why some people are working on their Dutches. From time to time I show you some Dutches, so in autumn they are not as pleasant as in summer period, especially today is rather dull, no sun, and some Dutches do not look nice. So, but still you may have the picture of this place in different seasons, in different days, when it is raining, when it is cloudy, when it is sunny, so... So, that is the main well, and here underground the pipe the main water pipe goes so and it goes along this main street at the crossroads there is another well and from this place uh, the pipes go in that direction and in that direction so the main pipe goes along this main road on the ground here and on the crossing roads it goes to the left and to the right from the main pipe. I want to show you the most expensive, one of the most expensive Dutches here. It belongs to our chef, the chef of this community, the big boss. <laughs> the head of our Dutch community. He lives here constantly during summer, during winter, so all year round. And he has a very, very good house. That is his dog. Her name is Elushka. She does not like Sheffield. <laughs> we are going along the main street where the main pipe goes. Another look on the dacha.
Some houses are big, as you may see. Some houses are small. That will be another crossing, road crossing, and there will be another well. So that every dacha could have a water supply. So here it is. So that is the main street and 360 degree panorama for you just to have a better look on this place. Today I'm without Sheffield <laughs> because I went to show you uh, the main station, the main well and Luzka, the, uh, the dog of our chef, um, of the head of this community, so that dog does not like Sheffield and uh, she always barks at him. That is why I did not take Sheffield because it would be impossible to film <laughs> this video. Luzka will be barking and Sheffield would be paying too much attention to that dog. So, And that is the end of filmmaking. As you may see, we do not have gas. Uh, that is why many Dutch houses uh, have ovens. Fireplaces are not popular here because it is not good to heat the house. So you need a lot of wood, but it is not efficient. This house is very expensive, about four or five million rubles. Rubles, sorry. I used to say rubles and that is why it's difficult for me to say rubles because, well, because it is difficult. <laughs> I try to control myself, but, uh, but not always I pronounce the word correctly. That is why it's important to learn the right pronunciation from the beginning, because to relearn I don't know, is it possible to say this? So to learn once again, that is difficult because the wrong pronunciation oh, comes to your mind first. I have shown you this house. I promised you to tell a little bit about this house. I think I shall make a separate video about it. I was inside. This device is internet, so this year they decided to make internet here. We did not pay because we do not need internet here, but those people who wanted to have internet, they paid about 16,000 rubles. have come finally very close to our dacha. So now we are near our dacha, about 100 meters from our dacha. So this is the main street uh, where the main pipe, water pipe goes. So this is the crossing roads and this is our well, the common well. Yeah. So over there is the pond where the ducks swim and where Sheffield swims. So that is the pond. No one here today. Yeah. And here is the main well. The water pipe goes here near the fence. So it goes along this brown fence, uh, two meters deep underground. And from this point it goes here, 
to our private well. Here it is. Now I will show it to you from the other side of the fence. So that is our well in the corner of our land, of our dacha. This lead is very heavy. That is why I must ask Alex to open it. I will show you what is inside. But I think there is much water inside because the rain water can easily get into this well. And that is our house from the other side. No windows here and here we are planning to make our parking place for two cars. So that is the uh, apple tree that broke this summer. So now Alex will show us what is inside. The lid is very heavy and inside there is much rainwater and you will not see the equipment at the bottom of this well. How is it called? So the equipment that counts how much water we take. That is some water. It looks like this. So, of course, it is cheap. <laughs> Cheaper than we have. So, and looks like this.